there's like a glare on my lens and it's making me like go cross-eyed for like, ah, there it is. I don't know what it's doing. Ah. Hey everyone and welcome to my last favorites video of 2012. This is going to be my December favorites video and I have quite a few favorites. Like when I say favorites, I mean seriously favorites, favorites. I've used probably all of these products every single day of the month. So I'm pretty excited and I'm pretty excited for just the new year in general. I'm ready to start off fresh, a whole new, all new experiences and all that. So I'm pretty excited for the 10th time. Anyway, I'm just going to jump right into this video. I'll start off with the eyeshadows that I have been using literally every single day this month. Um, so they are the Physicians Formula Nude palettes that they have. They're like the shimmer strips. This one is the classic one that they first came out with, and it's like pretty much all cool toned eyeshadows. So when I want a more cool toned look, I'll use this um, little palette. And then when I want a more warm um, look, I'll use the Physicians Formula Warm Nude palette. So it just looks like this one, and this one reminds me a lot of the Naked palette by Urban Decay. But seriously, if I'm not using this one, I'm using this palette. They are amazing. I love uh, Physicians Formula eyeshadows. They're really, they're really good quality. Um, I really can't complain. So definitely my favorite two eyeshadow palettes this whole month. I can't get enough of them, really. Um, so now we'll move on to the blush I've been using, and it is the Wet n Wild Mellow Wine. And I'm sure all you guys know about the Wet n Wild, just everything in general, their eyeshadows, their blushes, it's, they're really, really pigmented. So you can't just take your blush brush and go doo -doo 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 and put it on your face because you'll look like a clown. But um, you have to start off really, really slow with this and build it up. But seriously, I've used this every day. I love it. I love the color. I love the way it looks on me. Um, I'm not wearing it today, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not. But it's really, really, really pretty. Um, and I keep saying really, really a lot, so I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> but I really, really like this blush, obviously, if it's in my December favorites. Um, but um, it's just a really good blush. Next up, I have my favorite highlight. Um, I bought this with my sister probably in the beginning of December, and I have used it every single day since. It's by Hard Candy. It's actually a bronzer. It's their Tiki bronzer, but it's definitely a highlight. And I actually use it with my um, e.l.f. blush brush. Looks like this. And this is part of my favorites too because I've almost used it every day. And I just kind of take some right here, swirl it. You can see some on my brush. And then I just put it right on my um, cheekbone. There you go. I was going to say brow bone. But yeah, and it's really pretty. It just gives you a really nice glow. Um, very healthy glow, actually. And it's not too, like, glittery or shiny. Um, that was my problem. When I was looking at some high-end highlights with my sister, a lot of them were just so glittery, and it was, like, in your face. This one is very subtle, and it just gives a really nice, healthy sheen to your face. So I really like it. I think it's, like, $6. So, honestly, if you're looking for a highlight and you don't want to spend a million freaking dollars, go to Walmart, get it, um, the Tiki Bronzer by Hard Candy. And I think there's another one that they have that's really, really good, but um, I definitely recommend the Tiki one. It's freaking amazing. Um, so I did my blush, my highlighter. I guess I'll talk about, ooh, the last makeup product. Um, I have been using the Physicians Formula Eyeliner, Gel Eyeliner, and this is, uh, it came with three. It came with a purple color, this brown, and a black, and um, I use black eyeliners. I feel like black um, just closes up my eyes too much. So I use brown and um, I love it. It doesn't smear. It stays on literally all night. And I mean that's all you really need in an eyeliner. So I really really like it. I actually stole this from my mom and I'm pretty happy I did it. I have no shame. And I uh, apply this with my e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush and I like this a lot. It does the job and it's only, what, three dollars? So I can't complain. And I'm actually wearing this eyeliner today. Love it! Um, so if you're not a big fan of brown, it comes with a black and it also comes with a purple, like I said before. And they have so many different, um, like, colors, I guess you would say. I think this was for, like, brown eyes, I want to say. There's one um, that I got my sister for Christmas. It comes with, like, a gold eyeliner, a bronze eyeliner, and then, I guess, like, a copper one. I'm not sure. And that one was really, really pretty. So if you guys need some gel eyeliners, I would 
definitely recommend checking out the Physician's Formula ones. They're really, really good. They are a little pricey. I bought um, the one I gave my sister. It was $10.99 at Ulta. Definitely pricey, but you get three gel eyeliners, and like I said, they are amazing quality. I honestly would not spend my money on a high-end um, gel eyeliner because these are just so, so good. Um, the... I have two other brushes um, that are in this favorite video, and I think I mentioned this one in my last favorites, but I love Real Techniques. Real Techniques? Yeah, I love Real Technique brushes so, so much. They are so freaking soft. I can't, that's just the number one thing. They are so soft. It feels really, really good on my face, and they're just really easy to clean. I've cleaned this twice, zero shedding whatsoever, which is a major plus. And um, the shape, it's still nice and in shape. Um, it didn't change at all when I washed it, so I really like it. And this is the multitask brush, but I use it as a blush brush. It is kind of dirty, but it's freaking amazing. Um, I want to get like their whole set. It's just, it's just so good. Love it. Um, so that's that brush. And then... Um, the spoolie, the um, brow pencils that I buy do not come with a like a little brush or anything, so I bought this. This is by Sonia Kashuk. It was like three dollars, and it is seriously my favorite spoolie ever. I love her for making this. It is amazing. Like seriously. Next up, I want to show you the um, Julep Elixir. It's the organic Moroccan argan oil. I don't think you can see it, but it comes in this little squeezy tube, and I got this off of Hot Look not too long ago, I think it was like $12, and it says it is supposed to prevent dehydration, inflammation, and hyperpigmentation, and um, you can apply this to your hair, skin, and nails for healthy, youth youthful, and radiant results. Um, I don't have hyperpigmentation, but I do have some redness on my face, and once I started using this, I immediately saw my redness kind of fade away. This doesn't help, like, prevent acne. It doesn't um, help control it. It just, once your face is nice and clear, you put this on, and it just gives you a really healthy and kind of, hmm, what's the word? Just gives you that, that really, really nice glow. Just that healthy glow, I guess. I don't know. But I definitely saw a huge difference in my face once I started using this. I also use it in my hair. I put it on the ends and then the rest that I have on my hand, I kind of just go like this when my hair's wet. And I've seen a huge difference in my hair too. It's nice, it's shiny, it's not gross and um, damaged, or at least maybe it is damaged, but this helps it not look damaged. But um, I really like it. You don't necessarily... Ugh. You don't have to necessarily buy juleps, but tons of companies have an organic Moroccan argan oil. So I would definitely try it out if you want um, a really nice, healthy um, skin. So definitely try that out. And then lastly, I have my favorite nail polish this month. And I kind of went nail polish crazy this month. Usually I paint my nails once a week, but this month I've painted it multiple times a week. And right now I actually just like bit off all my nails so I'm starting off from scratch again I do like to do that every couple of months kind of file them all the way down and have them grow but um yeah so my favorite nail polish this month and I'll put a picture of it somewhere around here is the Revlon Buttercup and I Instagrammed a picture of this and it's just so so pretty I'm not a huge um, yellow person but it's just a gorgeous color. When I saw it, I was like, yep, I'm buying that. And I love the Revlon. This is their, like, Color Stay Long Wear Nail Enamel um, Nail Polish. It's not their original one. And I really like it. I love the brush. And it's just very has a good consistency. It's not too thick, it's not too liquidy, and this stays on for a pretty long time. Definitely stays on longer than like an Essie um, for sure. But yeah, I love this this month. It was my favorite nail polish, and I'm, I t I'm telling you, I used quite a bit of nail polish this month. So, so I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of my favorites. Um, definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I post pretty much everything at All That Fresh. You can also follow me on my personal Instagram account which is at kcabtheboss. I'll link that down below. I post just um, like normal kind of things, not all beauty stuff. So if you want to check me out there, that's totally fine. 
other than that, I will see you guys next year. So have a great, great day. I hope you had a wonderful 2012. And like I said, I'll see you in 2013. Bye.